cross-border shooting comes under fresh scrutiny. The U.S. Supreme Court appears divided over whether to allow a Mexican family's civil rights case against a U.S. border guard to be revived. The case relates to the fatal cross-border shooting of 15-year-old Sergio Hernandez in 2010 by U.S. Border Patrol agent Jesus Mesa. In June 2010, Hernandez and his friends were playing a game of chicken along the border wall separating Juarez, Mexico from El Paso, Texas. Agent Mesa caught one of the teenagers and detained him on the U.S. side of the border while the others ran away. Mesa then shot and killed Hernandez, who was peeking from behind a pillar on the Mexican side of the border. Mesa said he fired in self-defense after rocks were thrown at him from across the border. But cell phone footage of the incident later disproved this claim. The Supreme Court is reviewing a 2015 appeals court ruling that threw out the Hernandez family's case against Mesa. Reports suggest conservative justices are skeptical of the case, while liberals are supportive of the boy's family, which could result in a 4-4 split. A tie would leave the appeals court decision in place in favor of Mesa. According to Mesa's lawyer, a ruling in favor of the boy's family would mean foreigners could also sue the U.S. over drone attacks abroad. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Keep watching for more tales of drama at the U.S.-Mexico border. U.S. Border Control agents find the longest drug tunnel yet. Tons of cocaine and marijuana were seized when authorities found a tunnel that stretched across the border of San Diego, California and Tijuana, Mexico on Wednesday. Investigations first began in 2015 when U.S. Border Patrol agents became suspicious of heavy traffic near a commercial lot in Southern California. Within a fenced lot in San Diego where wooden pallets were sold, authorities discovered an entrance to a long border tunnel under a large dumpster. A 10-foot descent from this entrance of the tunnel connected to the main passageway, which was about three feet across. The tunnel, fitted with lights and ventilation, zigzagged for approximately 874 yards, or the length of more than seven football fields. At the other side of the tunnel was a large elevator that reportedly could hold between eight to 10 people. The elevator was located in the closet of a home in Tijuana, Mexico. A total of seven tons of marijuana and more than a ton of cocaine were recovered during the investigation. Six people involved were arrested in the San Diego area last Friday on drug and tunnel-related charges, including one American citizen. Mexican man tried to hang himself at U.S. border fence. A 27-year-old Mexican man is recovering after he pulled an unorthodox stunt at the U.S.-Mexican border. At 7 p.m. on Sunday, a U.S. Border Patrol agent was on his usual rounds. A man approached the border fence from the Mexican side equipped with a rope to scale it. He fastened the rope to the fence and climbed up to the top, overlooking the U.S. side. When the agent saw him, the man wrapped the loose end of the rope around his neck and jumped off the fence into U.S. territory. The agent ran over and lifted up the man's legs to try and stop the rope from choking him to death. The agent held the man up and got help from a second officer until eventually the rope loosened and they were able to lower him to the ground. The man wasn't breathing, but one of the officers revived him and the man was then rushed to Calexico Regional Medical Center. The man's name has not been released. U.S. agents uncover two elaborate drug tunnels under Mexico border. U.S. officials uncovered two drug smuggling tunnels running across the border with Mexico and arrested a 73-year-old woman charged with overseeing the construction of one of the tunnels. The two tunnels discovered last week were the sixth and seventh to be found in San Diego's Ote Mesa area in less than four years. The entrance of the first of the two tunnels discovered on Tuesday was found within a warehouse hidden under boxes of televisions and toys and sealed by a concrete slab. The small entrance opened to a 15-foot walkway, which led to a 70-foot vertical shaft, complete with a half-ton winch and pulley system. The tunnel stretches some 600 yards and ends at another warehouse in Tijuana. A second 700-yard tunnel equipped with a multi-tiered electric rail system and ventilation equipment was discovered on Thursday in the same area. Arrested on Tuesday, 73-year-old Glenis Rodriguez denied her connection to the warehouse tunnels despite surveillance evidence showing the contrary. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash tomonews.
Fake US Border Patrol car found smuggling undocumented migrants. In a win for US Border Patrol, agents last Thursday busted alleged smugglers trying to get 12 undocumented migrants into the United States using a vehicle painted to look exactly like an actual Border Patrol SUV. On December 10, US Customs and Border Protection officers from the Laredo sector near the Texas-Mexico border uncovered an apparent people smuggling operation that had modified a Chevrolet Tahoe to resemble an official Border Patrol vehicle. The cloned SUV, however, was missing the flashing lights used on Border Patrol Tahoes. It also kept the footbar and front bumper which real Border Patrol vehicles don't use, as they're designed to go off-road. Agents noticed the irregularities on the suspect vehicle and pulled it over. Inside, agents discovered a total of 12 people crammed into the back of the counterfeit SUV. The Tahoe had been stripped of all of its rear cabin seating. Border Patrol told KRGV News, the discovery is the first cloned Border Patrol unit discovered in recent memory in the Laredo sector. You know what they say about necessity? Mexican drug smugglers are a crafty bunch. They've tried to sneak weed across the border in just about everything. Shoes, tires, even fake produce. Their latest attempt involves a contraption from the Middle Ages, mainly used to take down walls. Oh, the irony. U.S. Border Patrol agents figured out something was up when a group of people near the border started running at the sight of them. They soon found out why, after discovering a makeshift catapult had been mounted onto the border fence. The smugglers had been using the catapult to hurl weed bundles over the border and into the U.S. When agents searched the area, they found two packages of marijuana weighing a combined total of more than 47 pounds. They dismantled the contraption, which was then seized by Mexican authorities. The weed, though, stayed with the Americans. Sorry, boys. Better luck next time.